Just ahead of 631 now, Yellowstone National Park Superintendent Cam Shawley says he thinks he can get the park's official fundraising and education partner back on its feet. Yeah, that's even though it's on the brink of insolvency right now. MTN's John Shearer has more. Yellowstone Forever was formed in 2016 by the merger of the Yellowstone Foundation and the Yellowstone Association. Uh, they took on a lot of debt. Um, it, it, uh, the philanthropy did not hit some of the levels that they thought it would. Now, the organization is millions in debt, and thanks to COVID-19, the income from its stores, education programs, and donations has plummeted. And that directly affects the park. What I would say is this park has probably set up a structure that is too dependent on philanthropy in some critical areas. One of those is the incredibly popular WOLF program. We've got to ensure that our, our federal spending plans uh, allocate an adequate amount of money to ensure that if we have some type of situation like we're facing now, that we're not going to impact critical programs like WOLF's. Now, Sholey says he's already taking steps to reallocate the budget in order to protect the WOLF program. And he says rumors that the Yellowstone Institute will be dissolved are just flat wrong. What I guarantee is there will be an institute and it will not be suspended indefinitely. It'll, it'll likely be suspended for the rest of this year, but that was largely probably going to happen anyway. But Sholey says Yellowstone Forever needs drastic revamping and severe overhead cuts in order to stay viable. And we've got to try to pull people together here and really come up with solutions that make sense. To that end, he has meetings planned this week and next with the fundraising and institute staffs, as well as the board of directors. In Bozeman, John Shearer, MTN News. Now we contacted Yellowstone Forever about its financial situation, but have not received a reply.